Hello, welcome back to Sarah Plays Aranessa Salt Spite, the Pirates of Sartosa in Immortal Empires. As we are trying to figure out what in the world do you do as the Pirates of Sartosa, and I've gotten a lot of comments about how people have played the Vampirates or Sartosa in general. Um, a lot of conflicting things, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet. So some people say they take out Ikit Claw, some people say they befriend Ikit Claw, some people say that they, uh, well, I guess I've been cautioned against too many relations with Archon because everybody hates Archon, which is fair, totally fair. Um, yeah, I've had people say expand your territory, I've had people say expand your pirate cove, so... There's a lot of good stuff, and I will apologize in advance. You know, I may not do your suggestions, and it's nothing personal. It's just still I'm trying to figure out my play style with this. But I, I super, super appreciate all of the advice everybody's given me because, like I said, I have played Warhammer a lot. I have factions I'm very familiar with. I have factions like Vampire Coast that I am not familiar with. So everything you guys have said is very helpful for me in the campaign. So with that said, let's pick it up here with my army that I almost lost because of this stupid head. Uh, yeah, let me see. Cause I, I lost my crabs. Um, oh, I can get a Death Shriek Terror, guys. That's right. Oh, I have so many cool things. Oh, I can get a Necrofex. Okay, this is game changing, everybody. All right. I mean, I have to get at least one Necrofex Colossus. Like, I have to, right? Or two. And then... This could be terrible. This could be a, a terrible, horrible idea. But I, I... I want to do this. Although... All right, let me not be stupid for a second. All right, Pirate's Current. Rotting Promethean Gunnery Mob, is that good? So they have, that is actually pretty good. Should I get that instead of the Rotting Promethean Unit? Oh, this army is gonna cost me a ton. I'm adding another thousand. Oi! But I really want the Necrofex Colossi because they're awesome. So we'll make it work somehow. I have my ship all upgraded. So I don't have to worry about pumping any more money into that once this uh, once this goes. Unlocks recruitment of rotting Leviathan. Didn't I? Find treasure! So... What is Rotting Leviathan? Is that... That's gotta be... Yeah, unlocks recruitment of Rotting Leviathan. Oh, it's this monster unit. So maybe I should wait and get one of those with my last slot in my army. This is, this is turning out to be quite the army, I'll just say. Quite the army. And maybe not in a good way, but I don't care. I'm having fun with it. I'm just going to explore right, using some of these other units. And I'm sure some of you guys will say like, oh, that unit is garbage. Don't use that unit. Totally fair. I'll learn from that. But sometimes I need to learn in the moment and see how horribly things go when I'm playing. I do think I need to take the... Where is it? Upkeep. Yeah, I might need that, but I also like some of this stuff too. Increase plunder from encounters at sea. See, that's kind of sweet. I kind of like that. Campaign movement, casualty replenishment and leadership. Upkeep. That also is good. But I don't have too many Sartosan units. I also don't have any rotting Prometheans yet. But if I get the Rotting Leviathan, then I'd have two units at least. I'm going to go with that. Gifted Sailor is also good. 
that might be next. And this will be available. Let's see. Spending two skill points. So that'll be available next time she levels up. Salt water. Gaze under the gash or Ooh, zombie pirate gunnery mob. I'm gonna go with that. And evasion. And then what do we have over here? Curse of Years, Winds of Wind of Death. That's that's a pretty good one. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for is the wind of death. Ooh, and when you get the rotting Promethean too, that'll be good. Emily has two more turns until I can hopefully hit up Lothern. So you guys better be building up this income stuff here because I want a little chunk of it. And Fergal, don't you dare think about killing Emily or I'll be very, very upset. Henry, my boy, you just going to go for a trip. Actually, maybe I'll just... His voice just cracks me up. He's the perfect guy to go on this adventure. Perfect. So, Emily, what to do with you? I'm just gonna have you. Well, I don't want Fergal or Fergus or whatever this sword master to come after me so I may Pistols just ready. sail this way a little bit okay I spent all my money so somebody did say that I should take advantage of defensive alliances with scryer so if it comes up again maybe I'll consider it Nobody else wants to be friends with me, so I suppose I don't have to worry about that this turn. All right, I think I've done all that I can do. Ernest, Ernest is just going to be sitting here for quite some turns, quite a few turns, while I get some of my big units. And then I'll probably have to really focus on trying to take out someone. I should, I'd like to take out Tobaro. Like, I'd, I'd like to go take out that Herdstone so I can settle these territories on the coast. But I'm scared of the Beastmen. This guy's just hanging out, being a stinker. So... That's global. Don't want global. I want a rotting leviathan. I want a giant lobster. So I'll just have to wait three more turns. It is what it is. This army is going to be <laughs> unique. Very unique. All right. Henry. Henry, my boy. No, your pistols don't speak better than you because you speak just fine. Okay, one more turn. Oh no, Fergus! Nothing to worry about. And she doesn't have anything in Assassinate, does she? I just don't think I can... I don't think I can risk it. I don't want to risk a critical failure, failure when I'm one turn away. So I may come in here. Just need to get Lothern. Just need to get Lothern and establish a pirate cove and still have enough money to establish the pirate cove. Oh, Clan Moors. All right, Dreadfleet, I think I'm good with trading with you. Sure. Vampire Coast, I gotta stick together, you know. At your service. Queek. Countered Queek. Okay. I hate how quickly these turns are going. I'm anxious about the end game.
I think ideally, oh goodness, I can't even remember all the end game scenarios that there are. Tomb Kings wouldn't be bad. Tomb Kings, I haven't come across the Tomb King one, Tomb Kings one yet, so I would be actually fine if it was the Tomb Kings. Don't want it to be Skaven. Haven't seen the Skaven one yet. Don't want it to be Skaven. I know dwarves are off the table at least, so I don't have to worry about the dwarves. Oh, I beat Noctilus. Sweet. I gotta just catch up to Silostra. All right. So Emily is still alive. And that's expensive. But I don't know if I'll have enough to establish the Pirate Cove and build a building. Give me another chance. I don't. 5k. Yikes. I don't want just the set income amount. I want the person because I'm sure... Yeah, I'm sure that Lothern is loaded. Just say so. All right, so then after that, I'm thinking, what's this? Lucky Levi's keepsake, Riddles of Renald. I wonder, oh, so she can also dig for treasure. I may have her come down here and dig for treasure and then see if there's anything on the coast here that would be worth settling. But I think ultimately, I would need to go after Nagarond if Silostra hasn't already done something with Nagarond. But that might be way in the future. Blood and toys. All right, Henry. Keep her going. <laughs> so funny. He just seems so bored. All right, two more turns with Aranessa. Sartosa Don't want to spend anything infamous. on Sartosa right now because I'm trying to save money. The Goblin King. All right, Grom the Paunch. I'm already at war with Carcassonne. You smell like bilge water, dead git. That's rude. Uh, I will do non-aggression. Dinner time after. And Moore's. I'll do non-aggression. Like I said, most of these I just want to go up to and potentially including military access. And then I'll have to choose my closer allies more carefully. Oh, we're, we're getting so close to 100 and that's the number that scares me. I haven't seen Ikit, his main army in a while. But judging from these, he's establishing understudies. Oh, this is Orion, isn't it? Oh, I don't have to take out the Beastmen because Orion Tal tells in. That's Orion, isn't it? Oh, boy. Did he take out? Yeah, he took out the Hearthstone. Ooh. I don't know if I want to go up against Orion because the Wood Elves are also known for their range and Undead. they would likely outrange me. Okay. So this is Infamy. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I want this one. And I'll spend all my money to get it. Meanwhile, Emily, I think I'm going to have you come down here. get in the water. Actually, I'll see what Lucky Levi's keepsake is. Is that? Yeah, see that? I'm so confused by that. I don't know what that is. The other thing is Aranessa's quest battle. If I have my Necrofex Colossus probably should fight some battles beforehand. To get a feel for how that army goes. I got plans. <laughs> Alariel's champion. Okay. I'm curious to see how that helps my income. But until then. The, the council's voice. 
Oh, is this just... Okay. Are these... Yeah. Okay. Those Some of those quest markers are just the... Armies I have to take out with the sea shanties and such. Or is it... Yeah, the pieces of eight. The sea shanties, whatever. Alright, this turn... I have to make a decision with Aranessa. Where are we going to go? Good question. To all of you who asked that, I don't know yet. Oh no, not the Knights of Orgo. All right, so my income jumped up quite a bit with this pirate cove. Can I see how much I'm getting? Someone tell me if there's a way that I can tell. Pirate cove income, 1393. I mean, I have, what, three pirate coves? So I don't think that's bad. All right, this is definitely... This is definitely one of those pieces of eight, right? Yeah, okay. So I was a bit stupid. That's what those those random things are. It's just the pieces of eight, which I have to get with all these rogue armies, which will be lovely. Just fantastic. Oh, so there's two that are fairly close here. So Emily could probably get both of those if I can make it over there. Oh, you're getting close, Henry. Okay, Aranessa. What to do? I could try to settle Tobaro. I just don't know where Orion is, but let's see. Let me get this treasure first. And then I may see how this goes. I do want to get Carl, but catch those winds. All right, let me keep on top of my ancillaries and equipment. So this is leadership, melee, defense. So she's already got everything. Okay. What about you? Swordfish. You don't have a weapon, but I only have one weapon, so you can't have that. Yeah. All right, so I'm not I'm not behind on that front at least. Okay. I hear ya. Crooked Moon is Scarsnick. I mean, I'm not opposed to being friends with Scarsnick, except if it's the Wa end game and again, that would be I don't want that one. I've dealt with that one before. Don't want to deal with that one again. Because when I played Grimgore, the first Warhammer videos I recorded, I think, I had the green skin endgame, which was just ridiculous because I was playing as the green skin. So you think that I also should have gotten all those endgame armies, but that's not how it works. So. And I almost want... Like, if I can get my income... My income is really good right now, so I'm almost wondering if I need to raise up an army just to keep at Sartosa because it's my only settlement. It has a decent garrison, but I just want to make sure that somebody doesn't come along and take it. Okay. Ahoy there! We've come across an enemy encampment devoid of life and littered with corpses. Half to, I don't have a good pirate voice. Half-devoured bodies are scattered about the clearing. The fallen dead were elite riflemen. Surely one among them will be of use to us. Or perhaps we should seek out the creature that caused the massacre. Uh, I think for my army, a gunnery white makes more sense. John Nutt. Johnny Nutt. Which... 
I could take Mary. Okay, let me think about this. See, I like having Mary in this army because she has the healing for my undead units. But she could also be establishing pirate coves with Emily. But maybe it's probably better to put John in here because he would boost my ranged units, my gunners and such. Hmm. Well, I'll think on that. For right now, I'm going to get closer. I don't want to be too hasty because I don't want what's-his-face to show up. I don't know where Orion is, but I, I'm scared of, of him. Course. Oh, look at that. Ow. Such attrition because of chaos. So, John, I'll bring you over here. Just in anticipation of putting you in my army. So Vampire Fleet Admiral, Vampire Fleet Admiral. Is this just men versus women? Oh, and I do have to worry about the loyalty because if they just sit and don't do stuff, they'll lose loyalty and then they might revolt. All right, I'm going to hold off just for now. Okay. Fear the pirate queen. Emily, keep on going. The way. And Henry. Oh. Does Skarsnik always have Carrick Eight Peaks, or is that. What's the one that the dwarves have to take back? Is it Carrick Eight Peaks? I feel like it is. If only I could. <laughs> if only I could. Wow, Skarsnik. Skarsnik has expanded a bit. I am a little nervous if there's a, an in-game scenario. Also, looks like Ikit Claw is really expanding also. Although some of this might be Scarbrand. And then is this... Belagar seriously just one? Wow, that is yes. much different than most games I've played with Belagar. Very, very interesting. Okay, here we go. Of so, Durthu, not Durthu. Orion has got to be around here somewhere, right? Oh, and looks like this is Durth. No, this is Orion. Orion is... It is the wild hunt, though, isn't it? So maybe that's why he's out and about. Okay, well, let her rip. Population surplus for Pirates Current. Okay, I'll have to see if I can do anything with Sartosa. Okay, they're coming back. Oh, that's a different army. That's a big army. And they have Ariel. Lovely. Great. Cool. Uh-huh. Is Orion mad at Iggit Claw? Lord of the Osprey! Yes. He is. Somehow we're improving. Slightly. Well, don't mind me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see what's going yes, on here. The winds blow true! I'm just gonna Stack it. I'm just gonna and take this it. for myself, thank you. Okay. And then I, I don't know what I should do. Should I kick out one of these guys? Like, mer 
charge and then disband and then put Johnny Nuts in here. Find a powder cook. Find a powder cook. All right, Emily. Who is this? Blue Vipers. They're usually one that's wiped out quite early, so I'm surprised they're still around. Huh. Who'd have thought? They've actually got quite a few settlements over here. Wow. Isn't in the New World colonies still exist? How fun. Alright, Henry. Where exactly are we supposed to dig around here? So, this says... The dragon stirs, awaking with... Awaking with fury, but forever trapped in the ash of his own making. So, I mean, obviously, it's this volcano, right? But where exactly around the volcano, sirs? Oh, you curse. So if I just pop Let it here? No. That was wrong. incorrect. So we'll try again next time. Okay, what about Sartosa? I'm waiting on money. So I probably should just get a lot of money. Try to get a lot of money. So it's going to be, what, like three turns? Ugh. This will help because this is income. And growth. That's quite good income, actually. I totally didn't realize it had that much income. Okay. I'm a skip. Oh. <coughs> Tinker. Tyrion. Tyrion. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to save my money. I'm probably gonna forget and spend it on stuff I don't need, but we'll try. And hopefully Orion doesn't come after me. Aranessa listens. For now. Oh. Well, no. I'm not in the business of giving people money, especially people I don't like, so you can declare war on me all you want. Like oh, you too? Don't. Do you want me Test to give you money? Hmm? Oh, you just want to declare war on me for no reason. You're all the way over there, dude. I shouldn't say that because he'll probably like beeline it for me because of reasons. And that's really the last thing I need. I, I'm trying to save money, but... Yeah, I'm trying to save money, but... uh, I feel like I need to start an army there. I'll, I'll put a cheap army there sometime, right? Alright, so Tobaro. Now I need Nuja and Magritta. So, taking attrition through here. And I don't know if I want to go this way because who knows who's up there. Let me just look at my little crab go. Get moving. I'm going to name my Move. crab Benny. Of course. Aranessa Onwards. and Benny. Plan -ho. Okay. Come just want to. Just want to. Make sure there's nobody hiding out. If you guys don't have the mod that tells you, like, the pictures with these things, or, like, the little blurbs or whatever, it's really cool. I like to read it. So, the remains of Estalian kings and their royal retinues once lay in peace in the earth. Now their souls know no rest, for an opportunistic necromancer is always in need of the greatest undead warriors. That's probably what's-his-face. Kemler? He's a necromancer, isn't he? He would love to come here, probably. Okay, so now I have to decide what to do now. I got the upkeep minus, or the, yeah, the lower upkeep for the bigger units, which is good. The casualty replenishment rate is good. But there were some good ones up here, too. I 
I can't decide. There's so many options. Income from ports. I don't have a ton of ports, but income would be nice. Ammunition would be nice. Oh, that's for my my artillery. But also missile strength for my artillery. Missile strength. I already have ammunition. Recruitment cost for Necrofex Colossus and armor piercing. I think I'm going to go with the physical resistance for now. All right. Did everybody move? No. All right. All right. So this one says, not all wonders are created by the gods themselves. Some are mortal creations. Wherein lies what you seek. So they must have created this. Whatever this is. Alright, if I can squeak out some money from somebody, I might be able to upgrade Sartosa next turn. If there's somebody that wishes to diplomatize with me and give me cash. I hope I don't get sneak attacked by somebody. That always happens to me. Okay, so a major naval battle has ended, leaving hundreds dead on each side. Death is no barrier to continued service, as well you know. Those who fell in battle would make fine new recruits. If we make haste and head off at full sail, the perish could, perished could be reanimated before their loss to the ocean. We must decide if this boon is worth the toll it would take on our crew. Should we make haste or ignore the battle? Let's see, full sail ahead, campaign movement... Casualty, vigor, clear oceans. I'm a, I'm gonna go with nothing but death. Yeah, why rush to a watery grave? How about we take full advantage of the lull and naval action against us? Oh no, Reichland's expanding. Wild Hunt's dead. And by dead, I mean just ceases. So hopefully he won't be a yes. bugger anymore. Onwards! All right, Henry, let's try again. Let's come up here. Stand Maybe you need to be actually in the lava. Dig. I can't dig in the lava. I've made a mistake. Spread vampire corruption. Oh no. Here, I'm doing exactly what I said I would do like last turn. Oh well. We're here now. Tale of Cruise, okay. New right. What's this one? Tales of crew who serve under undead pirate captains state they were press ganged to remain under the sway of their admiral, not just for decades, but forever. It is best then to embrace such fortune, for fate is rarely kind to deserters. So loyalty will not... Okay. Don't really care about that. This is the cursed mist, which we already have. Okay. Spending, spending, spending... If my calculations are correct, we might have enough next turn. The blue vipers are at war with a lot of people. I don't think I want to get on some of their bad sides right yet. I mean, it'll come. So I'm going to hold off on that. Okay, I think I, I, think I got one more turn in me. So we'll see how it goes. I must be, like, scaring people because everybody's declaring war on me, so I must be having some sort of influence on the world. Either that or they're just jealous and they want my crabs. Alright. Tretches, ambushing, Jenkins. Jenkins de Crusha. Jenkins sounds like a pirate name. Get out of here. Oh, no! Gelt is expanding as well. And hates me. Oh no, hates Skarsnik. He is at war with me, so he also hates me. Oh no, it's Orion! Lord of the Osprey. I feel like I should go help Ick Claw, but also every man for himself, so... I'll... Oh. 
Stop it, Sarah. You need to upgrade Sartosa. Okay. Guess I won't be doing that this turn. He'll probably come after me next, though, so I probably should hurry, hurry up and take these places and, uh, then get somewhere where I can confront him. Also, Ikit Claw, you need to get back here and protect your stuff, dude. Because Orion is taking over everything. Alright, Enry, can we dig in the lava? Sweet, only miserly horde, of course. Now, where do we go? Where's our quest markers now? Oh dear, all the way up in Norska. Oh, I guess Ursin would be Kislev. Really? Is that the closest one? Must be. Okay, Emily. Ready. Time Dig move. up the treasure. Miserly. Booty. 100. Or er, 1,000. Oh, lovely. So now you have to come down here to Rackharth's territory. We'll see how he's doing. Henry, you, my boy, are gonna go north. And then Aranessa. Oh, I probably have enough money now. Sweet. Thank you, west. treasure, even though you were miserly. Watch this be, like, a lot more money than I have. Oh, nope, it's not. It okay. Father. We have Estalia. Welcome to Estalia. Let's do growth. And then we're gonna have to turn it around and come back here because... Good gracious, if Orion takes Skaven Blight, it gets in trouble. Also, Carl is being a dingbat, so we'll have to take care of Carl, too. Let me just see if anybody wants to be friends. Silestra's close. At your service. Okay. All right, well, I think that's where I'm going to end it for today. I'll go ahead and spin my turn around, but I know there weren't any battles, but I'm ready for a battle ready to try out my new toys. Maybe not against Orion, maybe against Carl, since Carl is weaker. Just, you know, I don't want to lose my new army. But I also feel obligated to help Ikit. This is the problem when I play Warhammer, is I get really attached to my allies. Oh, and Geld's there too. Lovely. Great. Nice. Maybe I won't go over there. I take it back. Are they at war? Gelt and Orion? Let me just check that first before I stop. Ready. He's at war with Durthu. He's not at war with Orion. It would be great if they were at war with each other. Yes. They probably don't like each other because he's friends with Durthu, so we can dream. Okay. Alright, well... Thanks so much for joining me for this. Like I said, I'm I'm pretty much ready to go with Aranessa, fight some battles, see how bad we can do, but I've got the big boys now, so that'll be interesting. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know your thoughts, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.